This is a Rubbermaid Model 4400 flat cart that I picked up at the thrift store. I paid $16 and found out that uh, one of the sockets that the wheels insert into was damaged. Someone had previously glued it and it wasn't a great repair. So I had to fix this up and I'm just going to show you some video of what I did. This is not a how-to but might give you an idea of how to make a similar repair if you run into a, a plastic cart like this that's broken. So I determined pretty quickly this wheel on the back is bad. It's Well, the mount for it is. You see somebody glued this. It's cracked there. That's focus. And uh, I loaded a few bags of landscaping stone on here and this wheel just came right out. I got that all cleaned up, got the dried glue off, now you can see where it's split a lot better. And there we are, we got it clamped. I just put a little E6000 on there. I'm sure there's much better adhesive I could use for this kind of thing, but I, I just need to hold it closed a bit. And then I got this bit of scrap uh, plywood here, just kind of... Cut that to length and see if that'll help kind of hold that. Showing you a couple pictures now. Uh, you'll see that where I had to put this board in, it's kind of, you got that mounting point there, I think for the larger wheels. Plus you've got the uh, rod coming through, we am going to call it axle, for the handle. So I had to work around that. So what you can see is I just use my drill press to cut a basic shape into this board. It's not super precise, but it allowed it to fit in there tightly. And there's the repair. So just some scrap lumber. It's pushing on that so it won't come apart. The glue didn't do a whole lot on its own. And I put some in the next section too, just so there's enough force there. Just some wood screws. Those are just some galvanized deck screws on both sides to uh, hold those boards in place, but they were pretty tight already. Now, the socket for the wheel is not as tight as it should be still. It's, you know, it's going to fall out, but, right, I'm going to wrap some tape around it and it'll work. All right, I just wrapped it one time with the duct tape. It's not coming out now. You can see there I put a shim in and trimmed it. That just got everything real tight there. I really think this will work pretty well. Uh, the cart's rated for 250 pounds. I don't know if I'll try to do that, but we'll try 200 and see how we do. All right, here's a cart. It's repaired. I got 200 pounds of marble chips on it. Hasn't collapsed yet. Last time it collapsed was with five bags, which was 250 pounds before the repair. I'll try to wheel it and see how it goes. So far, so good. 200 pounds. I think that's about as hard as I'll try to push this cart with that repair, but I'm pretty happy. It turned out okay. $16. Turned out to be a good deal. If you found this interesting or helpful, please give me a like. Hit a rock. Thanks for watching.